Oh shit! A rat! There's a rat! There's a motherfucking rat! Humans have struggled to address food storage challenges ever since they shifted from hunter-gatherer civilizations to agriculture. Mold, fermentation, bugs, and most of all pesky vermin may all harm grain and famines have occurred as a result of a lack of viable solutions. Thus, humans have devised several methods for combating nuisance vermin such as house rats and mice. Cats were domesticated about 9,000 years ago and archaeological discoveries indicate that they were utilized for pest management in Egypt as early as 3000 BC. Around the year 500 AD, Europeans domesticated ferrets as mouses. Furthermore, rat catching was a legitimate vocation in medieval Europe. Of course, we humans are an ingenious bunch, and then came along the mouse trap. The mouse trap is described in literature as early as 1534 in the Emblemata book by Italian writer Andrea El Ciato and Shakespeare himself cited one in 1602 in Hamlet Act 3 Scene 2. In modern times, the first patented fatal mousetrap was a set of spring-loaded cast iron jaws known as Royal No. 1. It was patented on November 4, 1879 by James M. Keep of New York. The patent description makes it apparent this is not the first mousetrap of its kind, but the invention is for this simpler, easy to manufacture design. It is the industrial age evolution of the deadfall trap, however it relies on the force of a round spring rather than gravity. The jaws of this type of mouse trap are actuated by a coiled spring and the triggering mechanism is located between the jaws where the bait is held. Simply put, mouse goes for bait, mouse eats bait, triggers mouse trap, rest in peace. Of course, lightweight traps of this type are now made of plastic and of course, these traps do not have a strong snap like other models yet are safer for the person setting them than other fatal traps and may be set by pressing a tab with a single finger or even by foot. William C. Hooker of Abingdon, Illinois was the first to acquire a patent for his famous spring-loaded mousetrap in 1894. In 1898, James Henry Atkinson, a British inventor, invented the Little Nipper, a similar trap that had a weight-activated treadle as the trip. The Little Nipper is the basic snapping mouse trap the little flat wooden base, spring trap and wire fastenings that we are all acquainted with today. Despite being invented generations ago, the little nipper closes in at around a 38 thousandth of a second, a record that has never been broken. This is of course the design that has been used up to the present day. However, today's culture may prefer non-lethal mouse control methods such as bucket traps and box traps that do not kill the mouse. Of course, humanity wasn't always so gentle and in the 19th century, the craziest mousetrap of them all appeared, the gunpowdered mousetrap. The gunpowdered mousetrap was the brainchild of James Alexander Williams of Fredonia, Texas. Why am I not at all surprised this was invented in Texas? Nonetheless, on August 21st, 1882, Williams submitted a patent application but did not include a model of his trap in his application. Instead, he simply supplied a sketch of a mouse approaching his device. On December 26, 1882, the design was patented as number 269766. Williams touted his innovation as an improvement on previous animal traps. He described a frame that held a handgun or revolver, and the trap contained a spring, levers, and a rod to pull the trigger on the gun. Obviously, when the animal walked on the treadle, the pistol would be discharged at the animal and rest in peace. But hold on, there's more. In its patent, James Alexander Williams said that his innovation is not simply useful for killing mice. Williams, in classic Texas fashion, stated that the device might also be used in conjunction with a door or window to quote, kill any person or thing opening the door or window to which it is attached, end quote. He contrasted it with other comparable innovations such as burglar alarms and noted in his patent application that the gunshot could and would work as an alarm. When the trap's gun was discharged, the gunshot noise would inform the operator that the trap needed to be reset. Of course, for obvious reasons, the gunpowdered mousetrap was never widely popular and remained mostly unknown. And of course, finally, the internet never disappoints. YouTuber Sean Woods reproduced William's pistol mousetrap, of course, on a much smaller size. His findings are available in a link I'll leave down below. And of course, this brings us to the conclusion of the video. This has been me, Jack, and please don't go shooting vermin, you see. Unless you live in Texas, of course.